If you have belief-forming faculties that tell you there's a God, it doesn't mean there is a God. It just means that that feeling helped your ancestor survive. So the belief-forming faculties being a product of evolution only helped uh, survival. The problem is that evolutionary scientists use that scalpel on everything else. I think there's a God. Well, you were just uh, programmed for that. I believe in morality. Well, you are just programmed for that. I believe in evolution. <laughs> and here's the question. If your belief-forming faculties don't tell you the truth, but only what you need to survive, why believe them? Why believe that when you actually observe the environment, they're telling you what's actually out there? Or that when you decide, I believe in evolution, why should you believe that? Why put the scalpel on everything else? You know, Alvin Plantinga, who's a, a philosophy professor at Notre Dame, has argued this at a very high level, much higher than I could possibly get across to you. But he's pointed out, and a lot of other philosophers have pointed out, that mild paranoia is going to be much more helpful for survival than an accurate assessment of your environment. And therefore, <laughs> if you believe, if you have a theory of evolution, I'm not saying I'm against all understanding of evolution, but if you have a theory of evolution that says you can't trust what your brain tells you, you can't trust what your, your brain's belief-forming faculties tell you, including what they tell you about evolution, then you can't trust the theory, your theory of evolution. C.S. Lewis put it like this some years ago. Uh, he wasn't talking about this directly, but it applies. He says, you can't go on explaining everything away forever. He's really talking about people who deconstructed everything. He said, oh, everything, that's just that, that's just that. He says, you cannot go on explaining away every, uh, away forever, or you will find that you have explained explanation itself away. For example, you cannot go on seeing through things forever. The whole point of seeing through something is to see something else through it. It is good that you can see through a window because the garden beyond is opaque. But if you could see through everything, then everything would be transparent and a wholly transparent world would be an invisible world. So to see through everything is the same as not to see at all. And so how does that apply? Like this. If, as Nietzsche says, all truth claims are really just power grabs, then so is his. So why listen to him? If, as Freud says, all views of God are really just psychological projections to deal with our guilt and insecurity, then so is his view of God, so why listen to him? If, as the evolutionary scientists say, that what my brain tells me about morality and God is not real, it's just chemical reactions designed to pass on my genetic code, then so is what their brains tell them about the world, so why listen to them? In the end, to see through everything is not to see.